Hi, I'm Quinn Nguyen at Intercom's The Oil and Services Conference in San Francisco, California. Joining me now is David Dimsher, CEO and President of Core Lab. Hi, David. Hi, Quinn. Thanks for having us. You bet. Now, Core Lab uses cutting edge technology to help its clients increase production from oil and gas reservoirs. How exactly do you do that? Well, we look at the way that fluids flow through rocks. It's a very complex um, dynamic that we look at. So we analyze core samples from the reservoirs hence the name core laboratories. And then more importantly, we look at the three fluid samples that are there. We look at natural gas, crude oil and water, and how they interact as they flow through this rock. Our job is to make sure that our clients can produce more oil and gas every day, but more importantly, more oil and gas over the life of the asset. So we use core analysis and reservoir fluid analysis to enable our clients to do that. Now your recent Q4 and year end results set net income revenue records. What are the primary factors that contributed to your Q4 success? Well, Quinn, as you know, we are very international and we concentrate on crude oil projects. So with crude oil up around $100 a barrel, international activity is starting to really pick up now. And that's reflected by our record revenue, record net income, record free cash flow. So for core laboratories, being international, we have 70 offices in 50 countries, that helped our fourth quarter results a lot. Now what, speaking about international, what uh, regions account for your primary uh, growth? Yes, the exciting areas right now are offshore Brazil, where they have some of the pre-salt giant oil field discoveries. Offshore West Africa, again, very, very large crude oil developments. The Middle East and Asia Pacific. So those four main areas are driving our results higher. So those international plays are heating up then? Yes, we're seeing more and more activity. Actually in 2011, we'll probably get back to international activity levels that we once saw back in 2007, 2008. Wow, now since October 2002, Core Lab has returned excess capital back to its shareholders. Correct. Now what prompted you folks to pursue this policy? Well, the way that we view a company is it is owned by the shareholders and our mission is to cre create maximum amounts of return on invested capital, which we invest in our own business, and any excess remaining capital we return to our shareholders or our owners and we've returned over 800 million dollars via share buybacks special dividends and regular dividends and this year we already announced that we had quadrupled our regular dividend so more cash to come back to our shareholders throughout this year and in the next year what kind of feedback are you getting from shareholders well the stock's trading at an all-time high and when you look at the stock, over the last 15 years, out of the S&P 500, only five companies have outperformed CoreLab. So we've been very fortunate on that. We have a lot of very sh happy shareholders. And I know it's early in the year, but how is 2011 shaping up for CoreLab? Well, again, Quinn, if we look at our international levels of activity that we anticipate, we think 2011 will be another record year for CoreLab. We've already guided the street to, with revenues of about 900 million and record levels of uh, earnings per share and cash flow per share. So 2011 looks like it's going to be really good for us. Anything else you wanted to add? No, I think we're good. Okay, David Demsher, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thanks, Quinn. Thanks for having us again. Okay, I'm Quinn Nguyen with oilandgas360.com.